Hi, I'm Pastor Joyce Brow. I serve St. John's Lutheran here in Raymond, and I have the third section for this National Day of Prayer 2020. The theme chosen for this day is found in the Old Testament book of Habakkuk, chapter 2, verse 14. In the second chapter of Habakkuk, Habakkuk is instructed by God to write down his vision and to write it clearly, and so he does. Listen to these verses that precede and lead into the theme verse chosen for this 2020 National Day of Prayer. Alas for you who heap up what is not your own. How long will you load yourselves with goods taken in pledge? Will not your own creditors suddenly rise and those who make you tremble wake up? Then you will be booty for them. Because you've plundered many nations, all that survive of the peoples shall plunder you. Because of the human bloodshed and violence to the earth, to cities, and to all who live in them. Alas for you who get evil gain for your house, setting your nest on high to be safe from the reach of harm. You have devised shame for your house by cutting off many peoples. You have forfeited your life. The very stones will cry out from the wall, and the plaster will respond from the woodwork. Alas for you who build a town by bloodshed and found a city on iniquity. Is it not from the Lord of hosts that people's labor only to feed the flames and nations weary themselves for nothing? But the earth will be filled with the knowledge of the glory of the Lord as the waters cover the sea. The theme verse for this year's National Day of Prayer is that last verse I read. The earth will be filled with the knowledge of the glory of the Lord as the waters cover the sea. The words before this verse, which give the verse context, are important. Unless we back up, we don't know that this is part of a vision given to Habakkuk before the Babylonian siege and capture of Jerusalem. This is a vision for Israel, but not only the nation of Israel. This vision is for the whole earth, which had not heeded and lived out the words of that other prophet, the prophet Micah, who had called God's people to love kindness, do justice, and walk humbly with God. The people in the days of Habakkuk were hurting. They were hurting themselves, and they were hurting each other. Individuals were concerned and concentrated on themselves and what they could gain for themselves, and so they didn't hesitate to cheat to steal, to deceive, to lie, even to kill. They cared nothing for their neighbors, for others, and what their neighbors needed to live. Even though we live in a very different time, there are still individuals in our nation, as well as other nations, who demand their rights and who seek privilege, and who do not care about the welfare and well-being of others and feel no responsibility for them. You and I live about 2,600 years after Habakkuk lived and wrote down his vision as God commanded him to do. But the self-centeredness and greed now is no different than when Habakkuk lived. It's so easy to forget that the world does not revolve around me or around you and what you and I want and what we like. It also does not revolve around just our nation. It's easy to close our eyes and ears and hearts to the needs of others, forgetting that when we love our neighbors as ourselves, love will find a way to see that all have what they need. I invite you now into a time of prayer for our nation and also for our world, because God so loved the world and all people are God's beloved. Let us pray. O oh God of us all, hear our prayers for our nation. Almighty and everlasting God, guide the President of the United States, his counselors, and all others in authority over us, that they may be just in purpose, wise in counsel, unwavering in duty, and ever conscientious and aware that their words and their actions have a domino and ripple effect that touches the lives of all. In the administration of their solemn responsibilities, may they uphold truth, honesty, and remember that greatness, as Jesus taught, 
is found not in being number one, but in servanthood and in valuing all lives. On this 2020 National Day of Prayer, we pray for those who lead and work in FEMA, the Federal Emergency Management Agency, who assist in times of crisis and disaster. We pray also for the Center for Disease Control and for the World Health Organization, and for researchers who seek both a treatment and a vaccine for COVID-19. Help us remember that in this search, we are not competitors, but companions on the way with a common goal. Almighty and everlasting God, we pray for our military. Bless the officers and enlisted women and men of the Army, Navy, Marine, Air Force, and Coast Guard as they perform the duties of their calling. Give them not only love of country, but also love of you and an understanding of your love for people of the whole world. Almighty and everlasting God, guide this nation by your spirit to go forward with confidence and courage, pursuing peace and safety and the well-being of all. Give to all people of our nation faith in you, that we may bring glory to your name by how we love not just one another, but people everywhere especially those who are in need. In this time in our nation, when tens of thousands have died in recent weeks, and over a million have tested positive for COVID-19, and there are so many who have been or are ill and have not been tested. In this time when some are critical of our leaders, even while others praise them. In this time when there is disagreement about whether our lives or livelihood matter more. In this time when bipartisanship is rare as everyone looks after and fights for their own. In this time when farmers are struggling, when our food chain is breaking down, when unemployment continues to rise, when lines at food banks are miles long and some people are scared and others think leaders have overreacted with calls to stay at home, we pray for our nation, divided and hurting. We pray for unity and for healing, for health, for the well-being of all. Our prayers for healing, for health, for the well-being of all do not and cannot stop at our nation's borders. Because when you, Lord, look at this world which you love so much that you gave your life, you do not see borders and boundaries, but only people. People who need the love and life that you came to bring. Fill the earth with your glory, Lord. Create in us new hearts and fill them with compassion. Give us new eyes to see each other as you see us. Give us new ears that hear the silent cries and unspoken prayers that you hear. Give us hands willing to serve and share without hesitation and feet that are brave to go beyond our comfort zones. Until we in our nation and all the people of all nations see in each other your face, help us to disagree without dividing, to consider without condescending, to breathe without breaking, to pray without privileging, to quarantine without quitting, to serve without stressing, to wait without whining, to work without weariness, to wonder without worry, to forgive without fences, to give without getting, to remember without regretting, and last but not least, to love beyond without limit, as you love us, our nation, and all the world. Let it be so. Amen. To conclude this 2020 National Day of Prayer, before I speak a blessing, I share with you the second verse of a song titled, This Is My Song, which was written by Lloyd Stone, an American public school teacher who lived in Hawaii and who was also the author of 10 books of poetry and two children's books. He wrote the song in that brief time of peace between the two world wars. It speaks of the love for his own country and balances that with the love that others feel around the world for their own nations. Listen to his words. 
My country's skies are bluer than the ocean, and sunlight beams on clover leaf and pine. But other lands have sunlight too and clover, and skies everywhere are as blue as mine. So hear my song, O God of all the nations, a song of peace for their land and for mine. May your hearts this day be filled with songs and prayers for our nation. And may your songs and prayers rise and be joined with the songs and prayers of people of all nations. So that the vision of Habakkuk, of the glory of the Lord filling and covering the earth, will bring healing, life, and joy to our nation and all the world. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, let it be so. Amen.